Grandma's here to teach you how to read. Yes. Okay. Today is Aviva's first reading lesson, and you'll get to follow along as her lesson takes place. I'll start out by describing the materials that we use to teach Aviva how to read, and I'll end the video with tips about things I would have done differently, describing some of the benefits and drawbacks of the materials that we chose, and I feel like the day of reckoning has arrived. I made a video about a year ago describing my very free range granola approach to teaching Aviva to read, which really just focused on teaching her to love books. And at the end of the video, I'll also describe how that approach has worked. So that way you get to benefit from all of, <laughs> all of the things that I learned from my experiences teaching Aviva and just practicing with her. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Aviva's lesson is going to be with a seasoned kindergarten through third grade public school teacher who also happens to be her grandmother. Let's take a look at the material my mom will be using to teach Aviva how to read. Aviva's grandma bought a kit off of Amazon, information about this specific package in the description below. The packet includes letters, uppercase and lowercase, tracing letters that kids can use to trace the lines in each of the letters and their directions so that they get an idea of how you should form each word, photo cards, which have a picture of an item and the spelling of an item. Each of the photo cards begins with a target letter. There are these cute little stories that walk kids through a short dialogue related to a specific letter. And there's also a chart that has see-through pockets, these clear little pockets, and a holding areas for all of the letters and the charts. There's also this neat little strip here, which is a laminated piece of paper so that kids can practice writing letters and words and they can just erase it and start right over. Grandma started out by testing Aviva to see which letters she can identify. So she's holding up each of the cards and asking her what the name of the letter is and seeing whether or not Aviva can actually identify the letters. Is this how you learn how to read? Uh-huh, we have to know what the, um, the letters are first. We've got to know the names, and then we're gonna learn what sound they make. You know, like a cat makes a sound. What cat does a, what sound does a cat make? Oh, that's just fast. Meow, meow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so Let's letters, see. when they're on the page, they make a sound too. So you said this is V, so this is yours. Yay! Now, this is Grandma's first time using this material since her classroom material is all at work. So Grandma had a special request. She said specifically that I need to mention in this video that the cards were really hard to take apart and that some of them would tear as she folded them and kind of took them apart. And you'll notice throughout this hour long lesson, she is <laughs> constantly taking the cards apart because there are a lot of cards. So if you end up buying this set, I would recommend that you use the scissors or that you use some kind of something to help you cut the cards because otherwise they might tear a little bit. W-F-M. Grandma wanted something that Aviva could keep and that we could practice with Aviva on our own throughout the week. And of course, the practicing with Aviva would be my job. I was happy just leaving it to the experts to teach my kids how to read, but uh, yeah. You don't know what this one is? What about this one? Um, let's see. Ooh, you almost said it. Cute. Very good. Aviva goes to a immersion school, so they're teaching her Mandarin. She's not learning the alphabet yet. After figuring out which letters Aviva can identify on her own and which letters she needs a little bit more work with, they put the letters in alphabetical order. Now, the testing to figure out which letters Viva knows, that took about 20 minutes, and then they only spent about five minutes putting the letters in alphabetical order. 
I also want to learn how to whiteboard. <laughs> she wants to go straight to the... <laughs> I need to know what you know before I can start working with you. Because so she knows most of her letters. Once Aviva's grandma figured out which letters she can identify on her own without prompting and which letters she needs a little bit more help with, she signed into a program called Starfall, which is a free public program. According to the website, Starfall is a program that emphasizes phonemic awareness, systematic sequential phonics, and common sight words in conjunction with audiovisual interactivity, which is a fancy way of saying it's going to teach your kids phonics using sounds and images and videos, and there'll be interactivity and they'll have an absolute blast. And it's true because Aviva really loved playing with this program. Grandma mentioned that there's a free version of the program available and that there's a version that has some additional functionality for some monthly fee. And I just want to say that we are not <laughs> in any way affiliated with this program. This is really just the program that, um, that my mom uses in her elementary school classes and that her mm. colleagues use as well. Mm. Uh. Mm. Good. Mm. How are things going, Grandma? Good. I'm just getting to know what her learning style is, um, what she knows and what she doesn't know. What's her learning style? Um, I'm still kind of getting to know that. She, I, I need to keep things going short and sweet and fast. Uh, it needs to be structured for her. Quick, quick, quick. There are some kids not like that. No, right. A lot of kids are like that. Aviva really liked playing on the computer and doing the phonics activities with Starfall. And so overall, the lesson was a success with some caveats. For starters, the phonics packet. Although it's really, actually really awesome, the letters are printed back to back. So it's impossible to line up all 26 letters of the alphabet so that you can see each one. So we were able to get around this because we had another phonics packet that we had gotten a few years ago and we made it work. Another hurdle, or let's call it a very expected thing, is that Aviva has a short attention span. <laughs> so throughout the lesson, you can see she's getting up and she's moving around because it is a little bit difficult to just go through one lesson in one at one time. This means that going forward, we're probably only going to do these lessons with her for about seven to ten minutes at a time. The last and... <laughs> The most unexpected thing for me is that Aviva's love for books, it hasn't translated to her knowing more. And she was able to identify 20 letters on her own, and that's okay, but I had expected that she would be able to identify more. We actually spend a lot of time doing the phonics activities that I mentioned in some of my other videos like that teaching toddlers to read some of these pre-reading activities we also uh, work with her on sight words and we'll work with her on sometimes finding different letters on the page so I expected her to know more of the letters so my takeaway is that I kind of wish that we would have gotten this little phonics chart packet a little bit earlier those reading activities that were about a passion for reading, they have helped. But if I had used a more systematic way of teaching her, you know, if I would have started this sooner, we could have covered one letter a week. And then in half a year, she would be able to identify all of the letters and she would know the sounds. I feel a little disappointed and I feel embarrassed to say it, but I feel a little bit of mom guilt. Like Maybe I should have started this sooner, or done things in a more systematic way. She went to transitional kindergarten, and that transitional kindergarten was all in Mandarin. It was in a different language. So all of the reading and literacy skills that she knows, they've been things that she acquired based on the activities that we've done at home. All in all, now that I'm recording this kind of voiceover and finishing this video about a week after I recorded the session, I feel more at ease with where she is. I felt a little embarrassed at first that she wasn't more advanced, but you know, 
I think our free range reading approach, I think we've done no harm. And I've actually, we've actually done good in that she's mostly prepared based on that kindergarten readiness checklist. So based on that transitional kindergarten checklist, Aviva is average. And it's okay to be average. The most important thing is that she's happy. She's going to be reading for the rest of her life. If you found value in this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to follow along on Aviva and Elle's reading journey.